Well, it seems like presidential candidate for 24, Vivek Raswamy, is in a little bit of hot water. What? Why? Don't say it, don't say it. He tweeted out, I'm not mega. Uh-oh. Trump caught it. What? Called him a traitor. A bullshit? And did a Sopranos. You are dead to me. Fuck! And that's it. That's all. It is what it is. I'm Jazz Bergonzo on this. It's what's next. Hey, what's up, everyone? Jazz Borgonzo, what's next? Your daily dose, common sense, facts, and salt. Hope you guys are feeling good today on this Monday. Um, and of course, I'm supporting my fellow of Eagles cap because my Eagles are in the playoffs round one tonight in Tampa. But as of late, they've been playing like hot garbage. But hopefully, just hopefully, that they've got something left in the tank and we're not here bitching and moaning come tomorrow. But anywho, there was a video clip that caught my eye last night. And so I decided to, to, um, to use it as a uh, video for today. Um, Vivek Ramaswamy, yeah, he's not in the uh, greatest light right now with Donald Trump, or should I say he's in hot water with him because Vivek said, not MAGA, Trump called him a traitor, and uh, now he did a Sopranos and said, uh, yeah, you are uh, dead to me. But here we go. And uh, we're going to listen to this video. It's a short video, about maybe about two, two and a half minutes, and um, we'll play in its entirety. I made this tweet today that pretty damn interesting, and Trump has responded. So let's go over it really quickly. Right here, Vivek started his campaign as a great supporter, quote, the best president in generations, etc. Unfortunately, now all he does is disguise his support in the form of deceitful campaign tricks. Very sly, but a vote for Vivek is a vote for the other side. Don't get duped by this. Vote for Trump. Don't waste your vote. Vivek is not MAGA. The Biden indictments against his political opponent will never be allowed in this country. They are already beginning to fall MAGA typical Trump speak percent right the fact that Vivek is even trying to give any credibility to what's happening with Trump right now <laughs> it just shows the disingenuous nature in which he's playing and it really is just unbelievable that anybody's falling for it but hey charismatic people they can do a lot of damage even if they're not telling the truth okay Donald Trump interesting comment calling it like it is when Vivek sat there in his car and he was like, when Donald Trump is taken off the ballot, I'm going, whoa, 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 what? What do you mean when Donald Trump is taken off the ballot? Now, what really caused this was this right here. This right here is absolutely disrespectful in every way. Vivek is sitting there posing with six dudes wearing a Save Trump Vote Vivek. That is I find manipulative it as hell, bro. I find it funny. That is manipulative as hell. Like, this right here is insane. In order to save Trump, vote for his opponent. No, 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 man. Not cool. Not cool at all. This right here is not cool. I don't support this at all. This is pretty telling right here. But overall, look, everything Vivek says sounds good. The dude's a phenomenal speaker. He's sharp. He's smart. He's articulate. He's charismatic. Again, that's why I've been complimentary of all of that. But it's when he was saying, when they remove Trump from the ballot, there is no realistic justification to remove Trump from the ballot. This is all nonsense. And all of the court cases are falling apart for Trump right now. That's my whole take on the whole thing right there. And Trump won't back down. My thoughts. One, Jeremy's right. Trump won't back down. It's not what he does. <clears throat> Two, I thought the shirt was funny. Him standing in front of a truth, a banner, and he's got a bunch of dudes wearing, you know, save Trump, over Vivek. He's got his mugshot on there. It's great. You know, it's a great ploy. You know, it is sly. It is slick. I give him that. Now, Jeremy's right also is that Vivek is charismatic. He's very smart, very articulate, very witty, um, amazing. If anybody saw the debates with him, uh, the, that last debate uh, where he just roasted 
Nikki Haley. And uh, <laughs> Nikki Haley supposedly is high in the my polls, which is absolutely my bullshit. But regarding uh, Vivek, um, now he's a traitor. You know, like the mafia, like Soprano, you are dead to me. After you kissed the ring, kissed my ass for so many years, now you are dead to me. Well, the fact of the matter is, is that he is using the same tactic like he did with one governor, Kim Reynolds of Iowa, when she decided to endorse Ron DeSantis over Donald Trump that he used against one Ron DeSantis, which of course is backfiring. It looks like Ron DeSantis is uh, eyeballing to win Iowa. And right now, the way it's looking like he will. Um, because, uh, yeah, the whole uh, my polls, yeah, one big psyop. Look at the polls! But remember when, you know, the Sanders was running for re-election? You know, midterms, 22, you know, days before in Ohio, he, you know, Trump threw out the, the sanctimonious. Yeah, that's backfired ever since. Um, and what happened? One red wave in the entire country. One. And that happened in Florida, where he crushed Charlie Crist, uh, his opponent, by 20 points, the largest margin of any Republican or Democrat governor in the history of this country. Smoked him. One Miami-Dade County, a blue county for the better part of almost three decades, he won it, which allowed Marco Rubio to win re-election in that state. But Never mind the facts. The thing is, is that um, Vivek knows that he's never going to win this election. He knows it. He knows it. He knows it's going to come down to two people. It's going to come down to either Donald Trump or Ron DeSantis. That's what it is at the end. You know, all the bullshit about Nikki Haley, that's all bullshit. That's, that's, that's garbage. Um, but Vivek knows what this is. So, it's a great tactic. It's a great ploy, you know? Use it while you have it. So what? You know, like I said, I think anybody, if, if you took 10 people in a room and they saw that shirt, you know, with him, you guys wearing a shirt and him standing in front of the truth, I think nine of them would laugh it off. It would be the 10th one who would be like, oh my gosh, how dare you? You are a traitor. How dare you not kiss the ring of Pope Maga? It's ridiculous. It's stupid, in my opinion. Um, You know, but... Jeremy is total Trump, 100% all the way, and I got no fault with that. Hey, you know what? Stand by, you know, stand by whoever you want to stand by with. I'm sure there are those who are stand by Vivek until the very end, you know, wherever that is. I'm sure there are those um, who will stand by DeSantis, like me. To me, I like his policies. His policies have been phenomenal the last four years, especially when it came to COVID year, compared to one former President Donald Trump. You know, lockdowns forced the vaccines, and still to this day has not taken accountability nor responsibility of those vaccines, and yet is still praising them, praising those vaccines to the highest tops. And uh, yeah, I think that's ridiculous. I think that's insane to use Jeremy's words. And with that being said, I'm Jasper Gonzo. This is What's Next. Want to see more like this? Please leave a comment below. Oh, and also... Charismatic people can do damage. And we'll see you next time. Peace.